McLean's magazine asked if some Canadian universities are too Asian in its yearly issue that examines universities. They present several stereotypes about Asian students, saying they're focused on their studies and not on the social scene, while non-Asian students spend more of their time socializing. It concludes that Asian students are snatching up spots in universities on the basis of merit and leaving their non-Asian students in the dust. Some have called the article xenophobic, inaccurate, and even racist. The article cites a few students who believe a school's race has become a part of the consideration of where to go to school. Devika Dali is from India and is the president of the Stu International Students Association. She wrote a column in the Aquinian in response to the McLean's article. The first thought that came to mind was it doesn't make sense. It's not about being too Asian. Like I understand that they're very serious about their work and they're very dedicated, but that is why they are in the top spots, not because they're Asian. Like that has nothing to do with it. The term Asian is used in reference to both Asian Canadians and international students from Asia in this article. It's like uh, that's the biggest thing like, before you get a job, you know, graduate from like university or grad school kind of thing. Um, there's only one way to judge you. You are, uh, you are good or bad. That's your academic part. Lucas is one of a handful of Chinese students at St. Thomas. He says he's experienced some stereotyping since coming to Canada, but never on campus. The McLean's article provoked considerable backlash within the university community. McLean's pulled it off the web and then reposted it later with a new headline, this time calling it the enrollment controversy. McLean's linked an official statement to the story responding to the criticism, saying, quote, some comments we've seen have suggested that by publishing this article, McLean's views Canadian universities as being too Asian or that we hold a negative view of Asian students Nothing could be further from the truth. It goes on to say, We find the trend toward race-based admission policies in some American schools to be deplorable. Our article notes that Canadian universities select students regardless of race or creed. Merit should be the sole criteria for entrance to higher education in Canada. Issues involving race have never been easy to cover for journalists. McLean says their annual university rankings issue is both their most popular and the one that sparks the most discussion, but they never intend for it to offend anyone. For the New Brunswick Beacon, I'm Matt Chirico.